satu, dua, tiga. Action. What is up guys? Fahad here with Zah once again and today we have brother Shukri here. How are you man? Hello, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, so I just want to say Zah, welcome back to Singapore. <laughs> After your three week vacation, I saw your videos. And it looks like you had a good time, huh? Yeah, of course. Of course <laughs> lah. I mean, going back to Malaysia after like what? This exactly two years, it does feel a bit uh, different lah. That means, <laughs> it means the time you're going back, suddenly border open. Ah, you so know the VTL really for what? So, <laughs> I wasted my my flight ticket, you know. <laughs> if I know uh, they are going to open so soon, I wouldn't have bought it uh, earlier. Well, 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 well. Nobody knows, eh? Lepas, Nobody lepas know. already. The time has gone already. Okay, so anyway, this is Shukri's bike, the Honda Cross Runner, eh? am I right? Eh? Uh, yes, that's wow. correct. And I have to say that I always wanted to feature this bike because it really looks similar to my bike, eh? mm -hmm. but yet different. You know, at my house there, mm. there's one Cross Runner. Yeah, with a camo, uh, right? Nice, yes. Yeah. I always wanted to do a review on this particular bike because it is some, somewhat like underrated, you know. Ah, uh, yes. It's Not underrated. Much uh, also, yeah. Because everywhere you see is NC750, 400X. So, very seldom you see, get to see this Cross Runner. Mm, so, yes. today, I hope uh, Shukri, you can actually share your knowledge about this Cross Runner. Alright, so okay. before Shukri tell us a story about his bike, I'm going to give a bit of uh, introduction about it. Lah. Launched in 2010, the Honda Crossrunner VFR800X is a touring motorcycle derived from the sports touring Honda VFR800. The Adventure Sports Crossrunner is meant to compete with the BMW F900XR. Due to Euro 5 regulations, the VFR series of bikes, including the Crossrunner, ended production in 2021. Engine is a 782cc liquid cool 90 degree V4 4 stroke DOHC with electronic fuel injection and a 6 speed manual transmission. In Singapore, the Honda Crossrunner is an underrated motorcycle. It's seldom seen on the streets. Alright, right, Shuki, so first question, as always in this show, uh, why did you get the Crossrunner? And that time when you bought it, uh, when was that? When was it when you bought the bike? Okay, so when I bought this bike, it was in 2020. Mm. Okay, there's a story on how I get this bike. Oh, story, yeah? Uh, there's a story. <laughs> we love to hear stories. Okay, on this so show. <laughs> previously I ride a 400X, and then my dad. Uh, also ride bike, but he ride uh, Super 4 version S. His bike always create problem. Oh, why? Yeah? So, uh, I think because it's an old bike, uh, so version S, uh, yeah. uh, motor sakit kan. Okay, so... <laughs> carburetor. Uh, version sakit. Ah, uh, carburetor. carburetor. Version sakit. Uh. <laughs> sakit eh? <laughs> Mostly his bike got problem. I was riding the 400X. So, yeah. like, okay, this bike, uh, no problem. Fuel efficiency, all good. Then I tell him, okay, why not you sell the bike, you get the rebate. And then this bike I pass to you. Then I get my own bike. Uh, so when I was servicing the 400X at a workshop behind Safra, mm. I saw this bike. Mm. Then I was asking the mechanic, this bike okay or not? As in, good or not? Then the mechanic said it's good. Lah, so maybe can try it out. So I was thinking, okay. So my bike I passed to my dad. Then I bought this bike. I wonder how much you buy. So this time I buy in 2020, still got four more years. I got it for 7.5k. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, FPJ is the same as my bike. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say. Censored. <laughs> <Sunset, laughs> There's an acronym. FPJ. Uh, yeah. You know, I know. <laughs> la. <laughs> but that time when you yeah. look at the bike, uh, do you know anything about it? Or like when you stumble on this bike, like, uh. like oh, nice. Uh, I just want to buy. Uh, you know? Okay, when I stumble this bike, I, I see it as nice. Uh, but I don't know much about the bike. Oh. Uh, so that's why I asked the mechanic. Mechanic say, okay, uh, this bike is reliable. It's a bulletproof engine. Mm. So why not? Uh? So I just think back. The price is also manageable. Mm. Uh, take it. Seven thousand for four years. Okay. Uh. Not bad. Same yeah. as for, for a class two. Ah, uh, class two class bike. Before the four hundred X, what mm. other bike were you riding? Okay, my first bike was Honda Phantom TA two hundred. Mm. Wow. Uh, so uh, that was my first bike because I prefer cruising. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was my first bike. Second bike is uh, Super Four Spec One. Uh, but that one also old bike. Uh, that right? one also old bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so comes my third bike is the 400 X and this is my fourth bike. So uh, when you bought the bike, right, it came with the side panels and the box and everything. Uh. Uh, the box it never came with the box. It oh. just came with the side panels. But then there was no. Uh, no, side, no side uh, box. No side box. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Only, only the rack. Uh, only the rack. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the box. 
they give you lah. No, this book I buy myself. I'm not sure whether you have ridden uh, any other class two bikes. Other than the uh, uh, driving school one. Uh, oh, right? class two bike so far no lah. Only this. Uh, yeah. Only so. so how would you, uh, in your own words, uh, describe? Mm. Uh, its performance, its power, uh, maneuverability. Maybe you can compare with your Ford okay. X that you rode previously. Okay, so for this bike, mostly can say it's quite powerful. Mm -hmm. And when the pickup is also quite good, and it's very stable when I'm riding like hundred. Yeah. Hundred <laughs> 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 lah. He went to he went to pull ah, recently. Ah, went to pull yeah. recently. So you managed to whack the bike. To I managed to whack the bike, <laughs> but uh, not top speed. Oh, okay, the, the top speed of this bike is uh, 206, I saw at the internet. Uh -huh. But when I try, it's about 200. I managed to try until 200. Yeah. Okay. After that, I remember God already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it, does it start to wobble? Uh, no, 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 as in the feeling, because I first time ride the bike, right? Uh -huh. So I also don't know what to expect. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Just see 200, wow, speedometer 200, uh. shocks. Yeah. <laughs> at that speed, how was the handling like? Does it like wobble or is it very stable? Uh, at that 200, uh, it wasn't that wobbly, la, but it was very fast. La. I would say it's fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of vibration or not? Vibration a bit only. Mm. Yeah. So this bike, uh, it's comfortable when I'm riding 150 to 160. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. I can go quite far. Mm. So being, being, being a touring bike in nature, yeah. Yeah, surprisingly it's not actually an adventure bike. It's more mm. of a touring, touring bike. Touring. Like the XR, uh, XR 1000 XR. Mm. <laughs> the BMW what? The time we review? BMW XR 1000R. I'm not forgetting it. It's more of a touring bike. It's not yeah, an adventure yeah, yeah. bike. Mm. I mean, yeah. Basically, most of the adventure touring bike uh, with a sport stream uh, is uh, more to road. Uh. More to not road, not yes. off road. Mm. But Benzie is also an adventure bike. Uh -huh. uh, but then it's more of a road setup. Actually. Mm -hmm. mm. But this one is totally a touring bike. So I think uh -huh. off road. I Supposedly think, it cannot go lah, but I, then I think can lah. I think mm. it's only uh, like mile off road mile kind of thing. Uh, of road. Not really the, heavy. The track, uh, not the kind of the, the one that you go up to the mountain. Uh, what uh, Himalaya? Rimbarit lah. Rimbarit lah. I have to say the general design really, really, really kind of outdated lah. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, its, for its time. And I'm surprised yeah. that the handlebar yeah. is not a naked handlebar like my ah, yeah. scooter. Scooter, scooter. Ah, so, like, ah, this is the stock, stock lah. Oh, stock yeah, one, stock right? one. Okay. Yeah. Ah, then I, you got problem with putting accessories, I don't know. Uh, no. So far, no. I just put the phone holder lah. The, the rest holder. all I never use. Mm. Yeah. But you want to make it naked also can lah if you want to. Ah uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. But then you, you have to put bar risers, you know. Bar risers. Mm. Yeah. But very unique ah. <laughs> huh? Gives it a unique look ah. Huh? Yeah. And I also like the crash guard on this, which is uh, I have quite backer lah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is is it really heavy you know? uh, or yeah. not? Ah yeah, it's quite heavy lah. When I Try to push it without engine start is quite heavy lah. Mm. Yeah. About 200 plus kg. 200 plus kg. Ah, 200 yeah, plus kg. Bike, mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then what's your height bro? My height is 186. 186, yeah. Taller uh, than me. So how's the seating position and riding position? Uh, you, it's just nice for me because it's, when I try it's quite comfortable. Mm. Yeah, so there's no too short or what. Oh, you're not tiptoeing at all? Ah, no, no. The upright seating position now is... Ah, yes, correct, correct. Mm. Does the uh. suspension bog down if mm. you have pillion? Ah yes, yes, correct. When I have a pillion, the suspension tends to be soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, but usually you ride you from normally, Singapore, you just ride from work to uh, home. Yeah, but normally I ride alone. The other, other accessories I noticed, the windshield is also different. And mm. your phone mount definitely. Other than that, mostly mm -hmm. it's stock. Stock, uh, yeah. So, you, when you get the bike, there's basically no box. But other than no that, box, yeah. it's, uh, it's like that. Uh. It's like that. Uh. Yeah, are there a lot of accessories in the market? For this bike? Uh, I'm not so sure because I myself don't accessorize the bike that much. Uh, because <laughs> I prefer simplicity. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, so you prefer the stock look la, or you uh, just like, ah, never mind. La. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the bike can ride, okay. So, really. so far, how is the fuel consumption? Like, how big is the fuel tank and how far can you go on a full tank? Okay, so for this bike, the full tank is 20.8 uh, liters. Mm. Okay, and then the fuel consumption. Actually, it's quite bad. Yeah, uh, if I were to go uh, normal street, it's about 15 kilometer per liter. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I go that time go Malaysia, it's about 19 kilometers uh, per liter. I mean, highway riding, uh, highway riding. Mm, highway riding, uh, it's, it's about 19. Uh, maybe because it's a whole bike. Yeah. yeah. And the carburetor, then? Can injection. Ah, uh, injection, injection. Fuel injection. Yeah. yeah. So other than fuel injection, yeah. ABS, I assume there's ABS. Ah. Uh. Uh. Uh, basically, there's no riding technology on this lah. Ah, uh, yeah. There's only VTEC. This bike got VTEC. Oh, got VTEC. Ah, got VTEC. Okay, no VTEC. wonder you're uh, uh, Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but mm. no wonder you can rempit until 200. Uh. <laughs> I cannot know. My back top speed. 
I try ah. New mm. concept apa? Yeah, 100 and, 175 ni. Mm. Yeah. Even at the dyno also. Yeah. Uh, then the, then uh, my bike started wobbling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Vitek, this one is a uh, twin cylinder. It's, it's a four cylinder. Uh. It's a four cylinder. Oh, mm. but the engine, uh, surprisingly, uh, it looks smaller than. Yeah. It's so compact. Four, uh. It's a V4 yeah, engine. Uh, V4 uh, engine. Like oh, V4. 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 Okay. Mm. So compared to a Super Four, which is very huge, mm. this one is quite compact. Yeah, because Super Four is a straight, it's a straight, straight line. Right? Uh, yeah, mm. in line four. Uh, in line yes, four. Correct. So much about uh, performance, the specs, specs. Yeah. Right. Uh. How is your maintenance like? You know, being a rare oh. bike. Can you find parts or not? Ah yes, the before I got this bike, I asked the mechanic if there are parts for this, and then the mechanic says have lah, because it's uh, compatible with the 2015 version onwards, the mm-hmm. one with the two headlight. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he say have. Uh, but is it is, uh, how many bottles of engine oil? Okay, so for this bike, uh, if no f- oil filter, it use 2.9 liters. Mm-hmm. If with oil filter, it use 3.1 liters. Okay, so Basically three bottles lah. Yeah, three bottles lah. So it's not that bad lah. Spark plug four lah. Spark plug four, correct. Where yeah. usually go to do your bike? At Tampines uh, also lah. Tampines behind Safra, uh, Tachyon Moto. So far, uh, the two years of you riding this bike, you know, ha- has the bike given you any other problems or is there any inherent issues that uh, comes with this bike that you know of? Uh, maybe yours research on the web oh, okay so far i research on the web uh, no problem when i test this bike also so far no any problem mm-hmm. yeah so all these years i reading no, don't have any problem the previous owner you know what happened to it the previous owner was uh, i think uncle uncle yeah, yeah uncle. it was yeah, uncle yeah, uncle, uh, uncle. uncle. Uh, he ride for slow only la. yeah <laughs> hey, who knows kali the uncle also wait last time <laughs> wait <Wack. laughs> maybe la. sorry lah i misjudge there lah yeah but then generally i think uncle will know how to take care of bike but so far good ah uh, no problem ah uh. yeah <laughs> kalau youngster ah uh, they like to mod they like to change uh. yeah, uncle like to stop but i think most of the Class two riders, adventure bike riders, ah, uh, they don't really like to more in terms of uh, aesthetic, you know, mm. more to that, more, more to inside. the inside, inside or uh, add-ons, uh, add-ons, accessories, accessories, uh, uh, yeah, like sport sport accessories, lah. Uh, mm-hmm. Like if you have a gold wing, ah, uh, cover the inside more. On the road, ah, uh, being mm. a you know rare, so called rare, lah, uh, mm. so rare bike, you get a lot of looks when you are. Uh, Uh, looks not really lah, but a lot of my friends say this bike look like NC750 old. Uh, ah, <laughs> yeah lah, standard lah. Uh, uh, look, I mean at a glance ah, you would think eh, it's NC yeah. NC uh, yeah, banyak sekali you look twice ah. Oh, cross uh, one. But I have to say it's quite rare. Hmm. Uh, but there's one time when I was riding at stop at traffic light, there's this one uh, uncle and he said to me, oh this one. How many cc? Uh, so I say, uh, cross runner 800 cc. It was like impressive uh, because the engine sound is also quite different. But lucky never mix it for 25 cc the Varadero. <laughs> <laughs> because this one also a bit like Varadero. Mm. The uh, size. Uh. Okay, so far we spoke a lot about the maintenance, the general outlook, and all the specs, right? Uh, how's the handling like? Being you know, being a tall bike, uh, do you have issues cornering? Because I have, I have. Not issues lah. Like I would say when you really need to lean in the corner, you really need to use your buttock and really get in there, you know, to oh. turn the bike. Okay, so far for handling that time when I try in Malaysia or Singapore, mm. the cornering is quite fun. Oh. Uh, I don't have any problem cornering. Uh. So it's a nimble bike, lah. Like we say. Ah, uh, then with this bike, even though it's heavy, I'm quite confident with this bike. So <laughs> I, <laughs> I just corner also. Uh, that's corner also. Okay, so the tires, okay, street tires lah. Like, generally mm. chain, chain. Uh, okay. Yeah, chain. Generally, it's a standard motorcycle lah. But I have to say the unique thing about this bike is the hitch cluster. Wow. But let's just jutting out, you know, like that. Very nice, yeah. Okay, so so far, uh, what's your best memories with uh, the cross runner right here? Okay, there's two memories. Uh. Okay, there's one where I was uh, U turn at this certain road, and then after that U turn in Singapore, that I think about two kilometers, no traffic light. But I didn't speed. I just uh, gear two, open the VTEC. Go oh, wow! Really, this bike really can fly, man. Oh. Uh, the VTEC and how many RPM? Just curious. Uh, I think 6.5. Then another memory is when I go to Kulai with my friend. Ah, uh. mm-hmm. uh, so test the top, top speed of the bike and then uh, the handling. Ah, uh. so it's very very comfortable. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even at 200, the the bike doesn't wobble. Ah, mm. it's considering that even at uh, 200 kilometers per hour, you know, the bike is still stable and uh, doesn't wobble so much. It does give a statement to how good Honda's engineering in 
creating good adventure bikes. And I'm surprised that I'm surprised to learn that he has a B Tech lah. Because uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> most most of the Honda adventure bikes don't have don't have V Tech. Uh, you realize or not? Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so this is really a legit VTEC on a class 2. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I would say, I think the only one that we know is Confirm Super 4. Super 4, yeah. yeah Super 4. <laughs> but Super 4 too common. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> so you Super 4 lovers, you should get these. Mm-hmm. Uh, have it more on the road. But now no more already, is it? Or is it? Uh, now the new version. Ah. Oh, new version. Yeah, the one with the two headlights. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, the one at the my house there is a two headlight one. Oh, uh, okay, but the same, ah. almost the same. Yeah, lah, of course, it's a cross okay, runner, but the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, down the road, what's your future plans with this bike? Okay, actually, I'm planning to sell this bike and upgrade to a Africa Twin. So that is actually my dream bike, oh, uh, Africa you're, Twin. You're a Honda guy, bro. Ah, uh, not really, lah. <laughs> ah, really? Yeah, but all the bike you rode before is Honda, no? Yeah, but I didn't see the brand, lah. Uh, ah, oh, I see the bike. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, for me, I'm a Honda guy, lah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Even though I rode all the other bike, I will still. Funder, but Bunsu is an asshole. Because <laughs> <laughs> my emails never go answered. Mm-hmm. Uh, never mind. Maybe one day we approach them. Do you intend to go riding further than Pulai? Uh, actually, uh, me and my friend got plan to go Melaka. I mean, go slowly. Lah. Go Melaka, mm-hmm. maybe go Desaru, and then maybe go KL. Uh, uh, Aja? Uh, slowly. Lah, slowly. <laughs> slowly lah. uh, but given that this bike is a gas car, so like, I think all the stop, we need to stop. Yeah, I think so. Lah. Uh, have you tried going on a f- from full tank until like maybe one bar? Oh, so far no lah, because you don't uh, dare. Lah. Not not say don't dare, <laughs> but I the mechanic suggests not to go f- until one bar lah. Right. Mm. Because the fuel will evaporate. Lah. All right, Shukri, thank you so much for sharing thank your thank you, thank you guys cross runner with us. Huh? I mean, I've always wanted to review this bike. Yeah, mm. because it looks it looks really similar to the NC, but it's not lah. Yeah, mm. I mean, uh, considering that this bike is rather yeah. underrated, underrated, it's really uh, underrated. Got VTEC, no? Uh. I surprised, ah, got VTEC, ah. Yeah. I mean, should should have more of this on the road, then. Eh? Should have more, mm. uh, I think. Oh. But this one appeal to all those riders who really know about the bike. Uh. I'm not sure Munsu brings it, because I don't see it on their website. Uh. Maybe old, but maybe PI. Previous, previously, maybe. Yeah, previously, uh, or maybe the PI, lah. Uh. Maybe. maybe some most of the Honda bikes are PI also. Like your bike also PI. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, if you have any comments about you know the Honda Cross Runner, do put in the comment section below. Okay, and aku. any riders. Okay, so that's it for the vlog. Any riders want to review the bike us, you can touch us on our social media pages below. Okay, if you have any other comments, uh, suggestions, feedbacks, put in the comment section below. Like and share this video with your riding kakis and don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you to Aitin Moto for sponsoring us this venue. Uh, do guys, do check, come down and check out their place and see what they have to offer for you. Servicing, find refinancing, buy your bike here, anything lah. Yeah, and don't forget to support us as well as our awesome sponsor, Liquid Moly. Mm. Don't forget... Uh, Most uh, also have. Uh, uh. <laughs> use, check out their on, online store for a whole range of motorbike care products and use our promo code upon checking out. Yeah, and th- that's it for the vlog. We will see you in the next one. Oh my god guys, I just realized that this bike is a single swing arms yeah. And also there's three radiators, two at the side and one under the beak. Ini oil cooler lah. This oh, is an oil cooler. cooler. Oh, okay.